Hello and welcome back friends. This is Indranil and in this video we will start our project coding basically. So I'm here uh, in my IDE and in my uh, in my previous video we created this project and the directory structure. So the very first step would be to open our terminal and make sure your terminal is pointing to your current directory current project directory and uh, I'll type here npm in it and in order to uh, run this command you have to have the node JS installed uh, on your machine along with mongodb so because mongodb will be our database so you have to have that either locally installed or you can use uh, MongoDB service which is available online you can search on Google for that so I have MongoDB already installed in my machine and for node you can search here node.js and it will take you to the node.js.org site so make sure you're using the current version I'm using 10. Uh, um, my mine I believe it's 8.9 but you can always have the latest version and install it on your machine. So this will install uh, the npm package manager as well. So with that package manager, we can install different packages like Express and uh, and uh, Mongoose, all those things. Okay. So once it, once it's, it's installed, you will have this npm command available globally. So I can run npm in it. Okay. So this will ask a few questions. Okay. So first of all, it's asking me the package name. So I'm fine with the with the suggested name that is CMS hyphen tutorial. But if you want, you can type anything you want here, like uh, node tutorial or anything you want, anything you like. I'll, I'll stick to the name that is being suggested here. Version I'll put 1.0.1. Okay. description it's a node.js CMS application entry point by default it it goes for index.js you can go with it absolutely fine I'll name it app.js test command nothing get repository nothing keywords I don't want to use any keywords as of now author will be myself License is fine. Everything is okay. Yes, that's it. So, what it does, it actually creates a package.json file here, and this JSON file has all the data regarding your project, like your project name, the version, and in future, as we keep on installing packages, that will also get appended in this package.json file. I can show you that. Uh, let's let's create our first file that is app.js here that will be uh, in the root of course so why my, my ID has got this helpful templates so that if I want to create a JavaScript file for, for instance I can simply click here and this will automatically append the .js extension for me so I can I'll name it app I don't have to type app.js just app and click OK. It will give me a blank JavaScript file here. Okay. So the the very first package that we will be uh, installing is of course Express because Express is is a framework using which we will be creating this app. It has got a lot of features in, in built in it. So we'll see all those. Okay. So to install any package, let me go back to my terminal, clear this out, and of course there is one nice trick that if you don't like this and this uh, big prompt here, you can always uh, reduce it to whatever you like. I'll show you that. And this is, I believe, uh, I'm I'm using Windows, uh, but I'm not sure how that is done in Mac or Linux. But for Windows, you can definitely type prompt, then the name like CMS colon okay so now each time going for forward it will show me this prompt instead of this instead of the entire path 
that is the default in Windows okay so now I can type npm install and then the package name so the package that we will be installing is we open it in a new tab express js basically so it's a javascript package of course uh, framework okay and to install it so if you go to getting started installing okay so npm install express this is the command okay and uh, if you're using the latest version of node or npm you don't have to put this hyphen hyphen uh, save flag what this flag does is actually saves uh, that package as a dependency in your package.json file which uh, I mean nowadays it's done by default even without this flag I'll show you that okay so I'll install I'll copy the command from here or the name because the previous part is already typed here I'll paste the name here and simply hit enter so once it is done you'll notice a new folder here that that is named as node underscore uh, modules okay so it added that package here and if I click here you see a new module package has been created or folder has been created which has got many different default uh, packages along with my express okay so if I go to the package.json you see there is a new key with the name dependencies and it has uh, entered express as a production dependency here okay also uh, there is another package which is very helpful for uh, testing purposes or while you're developing the app it's nodemon that is uh, node monitor it automatically refreshes or restarts your server whenever you make any change in the application otherwise you would have to stop the server and restart it again so i have that already installed in my machine globally but you can install it by the command npm i is for install it's a shorthand then the package name and have to put a flag g g means globally so that will be available in any project that you that you work with or you can simply remove the uh, flag and keep it as a dev dependency with this dev command okay i'll not use this because i already have node one in my machine installed okay but here in this script section what i will do i'll remove this uh, test I'll put a key that is known as start okay and I'll give it a command like notemon app.js so what this will do for me let me close the JSON file here whenever I say npm start it will run notemon and start my server like that okay as you can see it's waiting for changes before we start and I'm gonna stop the server as of now clear the console so this is our first file and let's also import the express module here uh, before we end this video so const uh, is a is a, is a mm, way to declare variables you can also use var or let okay but const means that this variable is never going to change and, and of course our import statements will never change okay so i'll type const express and will require the express module that i installed okay and let me quickly check my ide settings Okay, so it should uh, now assist me with the uh, required statements. Okay, so it's indexing all the modules. It's done now. Cool. So let's quickly install another package here. 
that is the mongoose package mongoose is uh, ODM I believe uh, that's object database map or something let's check that uh, mongoose uh, yeah it's ODM it's ODM I believe it stands for object database mapper or something like that so we will install this uh, package to interact with our database okay so normally uh, you will use npm i mongoose like that but I'll not do that here because in my IDE I can simply type in the uh, in required statement and if that package is missing so my ID is smart enough to import that package from the repository okay you can see it's giving me a green squiggly here that says npm install and install mongoose as a depth dependency or as a production dependency so I'll choose the fourth option hit enter and as you can see it's in installing the npm module here and after some time it will be done okay so with that, uh, I'm going to finish this video here and we'll see you in the next video where we'll be writing our uh, the few other import statements and we'll create the uh, server and we'll make, we'll make it listen to our uh, queries or get requests. Okay, so till then, uh, if you have any comments, suggestions, please feel free to write in the comments section below and if you haven't uh, subscribed yet to my channel please do so and hit the bell button so that you can be notified whenever I upload a new video till then thank you and take care bye bye